Hi, hello, brothers and sisters. Uh, greetings to you, all. saints. Um, it's such an honor for me to share this message that God had been giving, had given me a, a while back. I believe it was in April. And um, this is the video that I'm making because right now I am just uh, converting uh, the messages that I have been sharing on Facebook uh, into a video format because this is what uh, the Lord had been telling me so that it would reach uh, more people that God wants to liberate, to uphold, to encourage and as well to enlighten because many people are in darkness. The Word of God says that my people perish for the lack of knowledge so when people do not have knowledge and don't know the truth they they do perish so this is why God is revealing things like this and not only to me but to many many people God has been revealing many many things and I'm just here to share it um, so this message is not for self glorification or um, pleasure or you know, this is not a show off or anything like that I just strictly am doing this because this messages the Lord gave me have to be shared to all people and that is my intention so uh, I would love to I wish to read this for you because I believe that if I read it it is more detailed than if I I talk it out so the the experience goes out like this the heading is lesson pace is in heaven uh, i felt hesitant to share this still the lord emphasized that i should share this message i do not want to look like i'm showing off or something don't get me wrong the lord gave clear instructions that i should uh, share this revelation. In fact, he said that this should be the next message that I should share. This was like the time that I I was told to share this on Facebook. There is this wonderful testimony of a woman of God who recently died. This woman is an American gospel singer, Lashon Pace. She was a wonderful servant of God and a gospel singer who served God with passion. But one thing in her life did not please the Lord. She was still attached to worldly adornment. I'm talking about makeup, artificial hair, jewelry, uh, trousers, female trousers, pants. Just like any Christian woman today, seeing that the Lord used her, she was comfortable with her life not knowing the or things she is doing in her life that do not please the Lord Jesus. One day, she prayed to the Lord asking for confirmation. She said on her video, I pray to Jesus to reveal himself to me if I am pleasing him. I prayed, Holy Spirit, my best friend, how is my walk with you? Please reveal it to me. The Lord heard her prayer and answered back. This is obviously one of the best prayers she prayed in her entire life. She also stated, One day I was on YouTube and the Holy Spirit told me, Scroll back. And I scrolled up. Then the Holy Spirit directed me to play a video of an African evangelist, Peniel Ngonde. I watched this videos I watched his videos sorry and his channel and in his channel many there are many people who were shown that makeup products and jewelry made in the kingdom of hell I got very scared and I asked the Holy Spirit why have you never told me that using makeup or in jewelry jewelry is not pleasing to you the Holy Spirit told her, It is because you never asked me. 
I watched many of Penyang Pen Gondi's video and I was convicted of my sin. I was attached to vanity and it became my god. I would go out with I would not go out without a wig or makeup. But right after the Holy Spirit told me that these things about uh, worldly adornment and lady trousers, I got rid of my um, wigs, makeup, and all things that I use to put on and adorn myself. I was so scared that these things could take me to hell. I also stopped watching films and family soap operas. I was addicted to the TV. Now I don't have the TV anymore. I only spend time watching testimonies on Brother Penny Young Gondi's channel. Well, she did not exactly say it like this, but this is this was what she said in her testimony video. I saw her testimony last year, and I was so happy to know that the Lord had warned her about makeup and worldly adornment. I knew it in my spirit. It was Jesus who delivered her from the from these cursed items of Satan. Many female gospel singers are trapped in vanity and worldly fashions. I had subscribed to her channel and I listened to her message from time to time. I could clearly see a radical change in her life. She did not put on makeup and uh, artificial hair, wigs anymore. Uh, uh, the previous videos she did, she had she always used makeup and hair attachments. But after the Lord Jesus Christ revealed the truth to her, she get, she got rid of all her vanity and shared her videos with her sixteen year old beautiful face and African short hair that was gray in color. She also wore simple clothing and decent ones and gave up wearing lady trousers and ungodly fashion. When I got the news of her death, I was very sad. I really loved her and the ministry that God gave her. But I was happy about one thing though that she she knew the truth and she got rid of vanity products and walked in holiness this did calm my worries about her death though i did not think like where she went a few days after hearing about her death the lord spoke to me through his angel i remember the beauty of this angel he was marvelous stunning he had beautiful gown and wings, white wings. Uh, he shone like a clear crystal. In fact, this angel projected rainbow colors from his body. He literally was um, projecting rainbow colors of all kind. It was a beautiful sight. Then this angel told me, Do not fear, this woman of God is in heaven, the place of rest. I was stunned by this angel and his beauty. I was, but I was happy because of the message of this angel of God. I thank God for this revelation that he gave me. Then I heard the Lord's voice speaking to me from heaven, and he told me, My son, given that you heard what I revealed to you through my angel, you have to tell my people the things that I have shown you. Tell my people that the late gospel singer LaShawn Pace is in heaven, the paradise of God. It is because she got rid of her makeups, jewelry, and artificial hair that she was allowed to enter my my heavenly kingdom tell my daughters if they want to enter in my kingdom they must separate 
themselves from worldly adornment and vanity. Tell my daughters I do not compromise my standards of holiness. Nothing fake will enter my kingdom. No woman who dresses like the world will enter my kingdom. Beloved, these are the words the Lord gave me. I could not keep them, for the Lord said I should speak them. The end of the reading. This is as far as I wrote. Um, so if you do not know this gospel singer, just go on and search on on Google, on um, YouTube. Her name is LaShawn Pace. She's um, a black American. She was, of course. She is now uh, deceased. She died in, I think, it, in March. So, um, yeah, I was really overwhelmed. I was very happy when the Lord revealed to me about this. And God had told me, as I have uh, narrated it to you, Jesus Christ has told me to warn all women about vanity. God is not happy about what women are doing with their bodies. The Word of God says that the, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And you should not destroy it, you should keep it. Because it is not yours, it does not belong to you. People think that their bodies belong to themselves, so they can do whatever they want. They can just paint their hair with all kind of dyes and colors. They can just, you know, they can just do anything to their hair, their face. They put on these paint colors. You know, like women like to paint their faces. Like most women cannot go out with, without a painted face. But all these things the Lord is not pleased with. And he had told me several times he would appear to me and talk to me about this. And of course many, many brothers and sisters have been shown by the Lord. People have been taken by the Lord to hell and shown the danger of using these things. So the Lord had warned me to tell all women, Christian women, whether you are a prophetess, whether you are um, a choir member, a prayer warrior, an intercessor, whatever your position, in church, outside the church. But if you are a Christian, then you are the body of Christ. Um, you are the member of the body of Christ and Jesus is warning you if you are still using these things that I have mentioned like wigs, artificial hair any hair that is not yours that is correction to the Lord and God is against this practice you cannot go and buy fake hair and weave it on your head while you have your natural hair. This shows that you are clearly not satisfied with what God has given you. And so you go on and look for artificial means to adorn yourself. But this is correction to God and it displeasing to the Lord. And also a painting of face, tweezing your eyebrows, putting on lipstick, and all these colors that people paint on their faces. Even fake nails, artificial nails, is displeasing to the Lord. I mean, come on, how can you, a Christian, go out there? You have natural, uh, you have natural nails your fingernails and you yet you go and you say you want to be beautiful and you go on to fix artificial nails this shows that you are unsatisfied with God with what God has given you you know and people say like oh I just want to look beautiful no you want to look like the world 
You want to please the world. You want to be accepted by the world. And Satan is deceiving you right now. If you're using artificial nails, if you use lipstick and you think that it's okay for you to do that, if you're putting on uh, these fake eyelashes, why you have natural eyelashes that God has given you, but you go on to add of your own and the wearing of jewelry of all kind, earrings, necklaces, chains, bangles, anklets, whatever kind of jewelry, even if it's not made of gold or silver, but it's jewelry, it is still displeasing to the Lord. And the Bible is very clear. You know, people just don't want to go through the scriptures, but the Bible is warning. You know, in 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 First Peter chapter three verse three, and First um, Timothy chapter two verse nine. The Lord is clearly warning that these things are displeasing to the Lord. And other many many scriptures, there is also a scripture on Genesis, I believe. And Jacob had gone to the presence of God. And of course, I got the scripture from uh, 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 a brother in Christ who had done a, a video talking about how jewelry is not pleasing to the Lord. Bible, at the first book, the Lord has warned about jewelry. So, um, yeah. God is against that. And yeah, pants, lady trousers, pants. Many, many women are using these things. But Jesus says he is not pleased. Pants are not for women. Oh, pants, trousers are not for women. I'm not talking about undergarments. I'm talking about pants. You know, like, you know, the ones that women are wearing these days. But God is against all these because they are abominations. A woman shall not wear that belongs to a man, and a man will not wear that what belongs to a woman. And they say, oh, these are just lady pants. No, that is Satan who is trying to deceive you to think that they are lady pants. Of course, he had to come up with a plan to lie to you so that you can fall for his trap because you are following the trend of the world. And the Bible is clear that do not follow the trends, the ways of the world, you know? So if you're saying they are lady pants, then obviously there will be men, men, men skirts that are designed for men. Now you see how they, the Satan is lying to you because he is twisting, he knows it. That trousers are for men, it does not matter if the trousers look female, you know, feminine. But it's all a lie to take you to hell. Because you're not going to heaven if you are wearing trousers, pants, or whatever you call it, jegging. You know, you're going to hell for indecent clothing, showing your breasts, your cleavage, strapless dresses, short, tight body hugging dresses, skirts, any clothes that are transparent and showing your inside. All these are abominations to the Lord and God today is warning you to throw away and burn these clothes. Don't even give it to anyone. You know, don't even give it to anybody. So Satan is so cunning and he is bringing designs and fashions and trends but the word of God says that do not follow the world and the things that are in the world. You know, do not love the world. You know, and it says also do not conform to the ways of the world. So God knew that there are things in the world that are not pleasing to him. And we as Christians should not conform, conform to them. And that is what many people are doing. This is what many Christian women are doing. They are copying the world. They want to paint their faces and look seductive and ungodly like women of the world in excuse of 
I want to be beautiful because I am a woman. Who said that because you're a woman you should put on artificial hair? That is unsatisfactory of what God has given you, your natural African hair. Or changing your hair either by relaxing, you know, blow drying, straightening your hair, changing its composition. All that is the same thing to the Lord. And God is displeased with all these things. And many people, women of God, are not going to heaven. They will go to hell because of vanity products and ungodly, indecent dressings, high heels, all these. So I wanted to add this too. Uh, during this time, the Lord showed me a vision. And in this vision, I saw uh, this coffin. And the Lord told me, look at that coffin. And when I looked at this coffin, I immediately realized that inside this coffin, there is, there lies a body of this late gospel singer LaShawn Pace because at that time she was I think she was they were during, they were they were preparing or maybe they were about to do uh, the uh, burial ceremony so the Lord was showing me and he told me this is useless because right now the real person is not even in that body the real person is here in my kingdom you know, Jesus Christ was telling me that Lashon Pace had made it in the kingdom of heaven. And people might see that the body is very, very important. And they are doing all this, uh, you know, this uh, burial ceremony, funer the funeral, just in, in, in respect to that person who died. This is the person that we, we are bearing, you know, because the body is just without the spirit, the soul is just... Uh, it's a dead corpse and Jesus Christ was showing me and I was so shocked like it, it is so real and Jesus Christ told me even if they they they, um, they threw her body you know on the mountains just anywhere in open areas just to res disrespect her you know it will still be useless because her soul is in the kingdom of heaven the real person is not the body. This is why people need to understand that. That the body is not something to, to care so much for. What matters is where are our souls going after death. Because when you die, your body is really going to be useless. Despite how many tons of makeup... You added on your face to be beauty, to, to be fair. How many uh, skin lightening, skin brightening creams you used on your body, on your skin? You know, no matter how much you, 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 you worked hard to beautify yourself, to make yourself maybe the prettiest, the most good looking. Try to, to work out in a gym, you know, all these things. Are for the flesh but this body is temporary so Jesus was telling me even if they were going to throw her body anywhere else without a proper burial she is still welcomed in my kingdom she is now rejoicing with the father and I was very very happy so sister in Christ brother in Christ do not look do not yield to the demands of your body your body will always try to mislead you and take you in a path that is unholy do not adorn your body adorn the soul the spirit man you know when the bible talked about adornment in the old testament it was referring to the uh the the, the bride that adorns herself in the in the in the spirit sorry so you you should you should realize that we are not supposed to be using outward adornment, but inward adornment. Adorn yourself with holiness and righteousness and meekness and kindness, long-suffering with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. 
And this is what Jesus Christ is saying. So take this warning, take heed to these words. They are not mine, they are from the Lord. And may God help you to uh, understand this message. And if you're in this bondage, if you're in this area struggling, ask Jesus to help you abandon worldly adornment.